Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 506. I am your, <laughs> I am your host, Roman Sanzo, and we've got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. Uh, granted, some of this may be old news, but hey, um, news is news. So first up is uh, promote review uh, reviewer on walmart.com called Opaline. Opaline Arcana. <coughs> Opaline, 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 Op- Opal. In, Opaline, Opaline. Huh. Alright, anyway. Uh, Hasbro has begun giving out an announced products to review for people over on Walmart's website. And some, uh, someone two days ago posted up one talking about the new toy called My Little Pony, Opaline Arcana. Wing surprise! While we can't confirm it yet, there's a good chance that Opaline's last name is Arcana. <clears throat> so, I've been out of the pony news for a bit now, for um, G5 to be exact, and a um, few reasons is just because the way that the content is coming out and um, we'll have a discussion on that soonish uh, because me and the guys are going to do a discussion podcast on uh, G5 <coughs> um, like why is it not getting much traction compared to G4 and so on so yeah um, that will be a discussion topic for uh, funny enough tonight's podcast uh, review and discussion so uh, we'll have the guys that will be me um, Silver Quill and also Jacob through talking about that thing um, so yeah I, I guess the timing here is pretty impeccable uh, so anyway um, with this one um, Opaline Arcana I got no idea Arcana means to my knowledge um, magic, magic or magic based knowledge and so on so having her, from what I can tell, uh, looking at the last holiday video or that one 45 minute movie was that she was the bad guy or quote unquote the other alicorn. We got no idea who she really is but we may need to take a look see. So um, today's discussion is not going to be focusing on who she is and whatnot. It's more or less the brand. But anywho, uh, let's continue on to the next news. Next news is Hasbro sells Bold Media to Australia Australian Princess Pictures. <clears throat> the studio that brought us My Little Pony, a new generation, has apparently been sold off to, sorry, sold off by Hasbro to an Australian company. Australia an Australian Australian company called Princess Pictures. Apparently the letter is known for primetime adult comedy more than anything with shows like Smiling Friends so it will be interesting to see what a company that has primarily <clears throat> primarily uh, primarily a kids catalog with Hasbro over the last few years with come uh, we will come up with over there on the pony side it always possible Hasbro could run projects through them third party style but their days of being an in-house studios are over uh, which isn't too surprising since Atomic Cartoon has been our primary source for a while now so um, I'm I'm at a loss here Atomic Cartoon uh, are they the new company that's doing the ponies? Oh, projects. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm gonna check it out. Like, are they the new guys that are doing the ponies? I, I seen this. I mean, why I mean I I seen this around. Uh, I seen this around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. What's this? You're not gonna look. Okay, there you go. Um, their catalog is pretty cool, and nothing to do with ponies. No ponies there. Huh. In production, probably? Um, 
ציבורית? אהההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההה
the company just low and have an April Fool's joke. It was pretty fun to see. And I, I watched the video and it was hilarious. So uh, nothing much to say about that. It was a fun experience to read. I read. So anyway, um, let's go for this one. Wahoo in Australia signs a licensing deal with Hasbro's Oh, sorry, with Hasbro for G5 Pool Toys. The Australian brand Wahoo in Australia is apparently getting on the pony bandwagon with a new line of plushies for the pool of all places. Uh, for all, uh, sorry, so for all there, they've only revealed the image above in GIF form if you click it. Alright. Uh, but this seems to be pretty big push for the company. Aquapulse is a moniker. The moniker they are going for, uh, and will include a range of twenty licensed characters that are built to dry super quick for outdoor pool use. Some of the brands include Peppa Pig, Transformers, Co uh, Co Melon. Star Wars and of course My Little Pony. <clears throat> oh, that's cool. I remember there's an update to this merchandising. Merchandising. Um, I remember uh, they show a sample of how this would look. Uh, give me a second to scroll through. No, none really. Huh. I, I guess it was on my own personal time when I take a look. See. So um, let's see. <clears throat> From what I can understand. Uh, Wahoo and what they do is that they have floaties, you know, inflatable, not really inflatable toys, but uh, floating toys that you use for the pool. And uh, Wahoo is the company that does them. Uh, I, um, I seen it and it's pretty fun, but one of the few things, oh man, um, one of the few things I don't really feel like. Most of us will be interesting. Most of us will be interested in is because not many of us have a pool, and playing with this in a you you can only do this in a private pool, nothing with publics. So yeah, I know some people do have pools, so that's good on them. But I got no idea how to cover this one. But I know that this is pretty interesting. <clears throat> but anyway, let's move on. So, wow, there's a lot of merchandising. Um, Muchi teams up with Hasbro for My Little Pony Smart Watch, also with Transformers. <clears throat> and Aust wow, Australian again. Wow, we, we are covering down under. An Australian company called Muchi that focuses on creating smart devices for kids has announced its partnership with Hasbro to create My Little Pony and Transformers branded watch watches. Um, which modify strap and with which which modifies the strap face and protect horrors. You can see that what they are offering uh, in the image above. <clears throat> Expect to pay about two hundred and nineteen dollars for their Odyssey line and one hundred fifty dollars for the Connect bundle. The UK. We'll see them in the end of the year with the EU and US following afterwards. The specific stats. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> oh boy, there's a bunch of words. More than meets the eye, a smart or just set to spark Muchi and Hasbro announced Transformers and My Little Pony watch bundle in. Time for the holidays. Premium Odyssey Watch now features Australian first HD video call uh, capabilities. Watch features enhanced battery life to keep kids connected for longer. Gold Coast Australia, Australian Mochi, the Australian pioneer for the smartphone watch for kids, today announced the release of the special edition and um all right i'm just gonna skip this because uh it's a lot of marketing talk but <clears throat> uh, let's see what does the set include 
uh, geofencing automatically sends parents a notification when their child leaves a certain area okay that's cool that's cool gps tracking all right all right okay um some people are a bit paranoid about oh i'm getting tracked and whatnot but you have to think this is your children your kids so doing this allows you to know where they are and where they're going so that's good because uh, we do not want uh, we, we do not want the horror of missing children <clears throat> so sos slash emergency contact button all right parental control safe contact list all right g4 for g active on part of the tells Tell strand network covering about 98% of Australian enabling video calls, HD video calls, and uh, messaging and the and form of okay, uh, step tracks, so on. So, <clears throat> all in all, this is a pretty cool product to offer to the kids. Um, honestly, I would consider this, I, I would consider getting this for my nephew, like um, just giving them an. Optimus Prime watch and a Bumblebee watch and um, having them like just imagine oh um, I'm gonna call grandma Tuck. oh grandma how are you I'm doing the blah 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 so it's kind of cool it's a really cool concept I don't really know how to see this as a child like how, how, how am I going to... Oh, I'll just say this. I don't know how to approach this as an adult with a phone that does the same thing and a smart tracker that's not really fancy but it does the job of telling me time. Uh, you're probably wondering, why do I need the watch if I have the phone? I just want to watch see the time on my watch or my wrist whatever so <clears throat> for this one it's technically a smartphone slash watch but you can make calls or video calls on your watch which is pretty interesting i i like the idea and concept and technically if given the chance i would probably review this i'll wear it for a month and try all the features and whatnot this is something like, this is something cool, yeah. So, um, Muchi, Muchi was it? Yeah, Muchis. If you're out there and somehow watching this at this hour or this minute, um, send me a review. I'll gladly do it. <laughs> so moving on to the last news of the week, <clears throat> My Little Pony World game now available on Android and iOS. Wow. So, a little... I'll fresh. Hmm. Uh, fresh this post out in a bit once I get to the computer. But for now, the game that appeared in Australia like a few weeks ago had finally made its debut worldwide. Like our buddies down under, it includes the regular free to play along with subscription. For way more. I've checked this out on the iOS store and it's there. Um, it's available in Malaysia, so yay. I didn't download it because. Hmm, why didn't I download it? I don't know, it's just not my thing. Like, I'm, I'm trying to really figure out why or should I, but. I don't know, it's just not my thing. Like, mobile game is not a avenue that I lean into. Especially when the idea for what they want to do later on is to have a subscription ve level where you have to pay by monthly or whatever. Like, nah man, like, nah. I would rather pay it one shot, like, this like yeah just just give me a game where i can just purchase it for x amount of bucks and i'll play or not play it that's my prerogative and i 
gave you the money at up front. Yay, I'm happy. For, I'm I, I'm I'm glad that I paid for your hard work and whatnot. But this this feels like, oh, I played your game. I am enjoying said game. I should probably give you a tip. I'll buy your subscription for a month. Oh, I playing my I'm playing the game more and it feels like that feeling of oh you want to get cool stuff you get to pay and that feeling of obligation of like you know being the good guy like oh um, you guys did a good job here here's five bucks I, I don't feel that with modern day mobile games funny enough I when playing the my Little Pony town simulator game thing where you build towns and whatnot, I purchased a few gems, five bucks here and there, just to say, good job, I'm liking it. <coughs> I did that. Not a shame of it. But this one, I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe when I do play it, I'll give you a report. But anywho, that is the news for this week. And, um, well, let's move on to the next topic, what have I been doing for my week, which is going to be a long week. So there's a few things happening, I had birthdays, yay, awesomeness, uh, birthday was simple, didn't really go anywhere, hang out with family, uh, didn't really get much in terms of presents, but I did get one of the games that I've been waiting for for almost 8 years, which was Bayonetta 3. Uh, and that is the sad part because of all the commotion going on. But forget about drama, just play game, game fun. <clears throat> yeah. Um, on top of that, played a few other games. Um, Overwatch was one. Uh, another game that I was surprised to kind of be addicted to is Vampire Survivors. Somehow that game is damn addictive. Just because it's just because the way that it runs like man it's fun it's fun um other than that um a bit of magic here and there um dnds and so on oh yeah movie i watch a movie um we i watched uh black panther walk on the forever pretty fun pretty entertaining it's another marvel movie uh, so, nothing much to say on that. Man, um, let's see, uh, there is a few things. You know, I'm just going to save it for the review and discussion podcast because it has to do with Hasbro. I I'll just tell you guys here for a bit because um, listening to this, you kind of get what to expect in the discussion and that is Hasbro um, Hasbro right now the way that it's treating Magic the Gathering with um, yeah the, uh, the way that Hasbro is treating the Magic the Gathering brand is kind of bad the over influx of product coming out um, the gouging of price to their customers just to Tell them to buy stuff. Uh, the what you call this? Uh, the um, broken promises for not reprinting um, the reserve list, quote unquote, and whatnot. I mean, a lot of things going on that is kind of in parallel to what I'm seeing with ponies to a certain point. But um, the only biggest difference is. Ponies have always done that from the very beginning with printing or with producing products to sell. So I'm just curious to see what the rest of the guys would have to say when we do uh, review or when we do do this discussion. Because to me, um, the way I'm looking at it is Hasbro is really pushing to make the end of the year or end of the physical quarter sale to show that their stocks are really good and whatnot. But um, with how the with recent news that Hasbro's share stocks fall or fell about 
five what five point something percent. So that that's kind of bad. But I am not a investor or a professional what you call this um, stock person. I am just a person on the internet who talks about stuff I seen. So this will be something interesting to chat up with the guys because. This is how they're treating magic. How are they going to treat their other brands? So yeah, we will we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. But anywho, let's move on to the end. Yes, we are at the end. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at the MB Show Gmail.com. You <clears throat> you can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Twitter is another thing also. Oh god. So yeah, um if Twitter implodes, there's the email. Go for the MBS show at gmail.com. I I already open my email, I read them if they're not spam. <laughs> and please also subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube, don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and also stitch radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on ponylive.com. I noticed that Pony Life servers are not up to date. I might need to poke someone. Might. Probably. I don't know. Anyway, um, links will be in the show notes below, I guess. Yeah. So, um, let's see. Uh, also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you can catch me, Silver Quill, Terra sometimes, and Jacob reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, specials, movies. And uh, sometimes we like to do other things other than ponies, and that can be cartoons, animes, comics, mangas, video games, movies, and whatever tickles our fancy. Uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MPS show. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank, <laughs> I would like to thank you, Jacob. Lucky Knight, Master of Lack, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya!